what's up everybody? How are you doing? This is Baya. First of all, you guys check out my house. Anyways, I am at the rail station in Lagos and we are headed to Ibadan. So I want to take you guys on a trip with me to see what the experience is like. I've heard a lot of people talk about this railway, so we're going to go check it out. We have finally gotten through the tickets and I think the the economy class tickets is how much time? <laughs> we got the business class tickets which is 5,000 Naira and first class is 6,000 Naira. I don't even know the difference between it, I just picked what's in the middle. Um, and uh, that is roughly like 12 or 13 dollars trip using the train. Let me show you guys the train station. Ooh, you guys see back there? What's up guys? So we have finally bought the train. So the process that we went through was to get the tickets um, and I think I got business class tickets which was 5,000 Naira um, and I think the difference between the business class and first class that said is the business class just has individual seating, they have their own table uh, and just a little bit more spacious in general. Ooh, let me show you guys the street. Hold on. That's the view. A lot of street vendors along the railway over there. <laughs> All right, back to me. So now, yeah, we, um, they wrote down the class and the seats on the back of the tickets. 
There you go, guys. So there goes the tickets. Saffron Head. So now, oops, shoot. <laughs> so they have C7 is the coach, and then three is the number of your seats. Yeah, so C7 is the number of the coach, and then three is the number of your seats. All right. So there's some cool things about this train that I'm going to share with you guys. Number one, check this out. They have USB, USB. They have a plug that you can plug into. So you can literally work on your way throughout your trip. So I'm gonna connect to my laptop here, get on the internet, and just relax. So we'll see how long it takes to get from Lagos to Ibadan, which I think is roughly two hours. But this is so comfortable and so smooth. Keisha Cole. Shout out to Oakland, shout out to Keisha Cole. That's it. But it's very possible that in the next few minutes we'll be... Uh, this view is much better than over there. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. That should be my two, I guess. So what bus station is that? Mm. That is Terminal 1 of something. Yeah, I mean something. That? That's Yaba. We Yaba long ago. Wow. Yeah, this is the It's a beautiful terminal. Wow. Yeah. I think it's bigger. Wow. That's another train station. Wow. This is Oshodi. those good initiatives that would help reduce traffic in Lagos. Things like the BRT, things like the train station. I can see that they're making an effort to think about these things. Um, and with the building of New Bridges Road, but I think, I've always thought either we use waterways or train. Because the big congested cities like San Francisco and Oakland where I grew up, most of the citizens and people use trains to get around between towns and cities. So I think this is something to be um, celebrated. This is really cool. I, I love it. Ooh, those are the BRT buses. <laughs> this is popular. So, I was just talking to you guys about BRT buses. Those are the BRT buses over there. And they also have their own lane, if you guys can see. So hopefully all of this decongests traffic. The downfalls are still there, which they take up road. I think sometimes they're the cause of traffic, but... <laughs> oh yeah. So 
So I think that's cool. So now we got train, we got BRT. Once they like optimize the waterways, that should really, really help to decongest traffic a lot. And then the other small buses, I don't know the best solution for them. <laughs> But I'm hearing that it's they're wanting to integrate them into the bus and train system. Alright guys, I will chat with you soon. I'm going to get to work. I just wanted to show you guys a quick preview of what uh, the process is like to get on the bus from Lagos to Ibada. I will shoot again in the middle and then I'll shoot again towards the end um, when we get to the Ibada station. I found a spot that I can work on in a train. Ah, this is cool because my internet is good. I'm connecting to my hotspot. I can just get some work done before we get to our destination. Yeah. We're lucky that the train is not overly crowded. I, I don't know who they reserve this spot mm -hmm. for. Maybe it's first come, first serve, but it seems open. Um, so I'm excited to get to work here. I just wanted to show you guys another cool feature that's on the train. Look, look at this view. I can get to enjoy the view of Lagos while working. <laughs> so cool, right? Alright guys, I'll see you later. I'll continually check in with anything that's interesting that I find out. Alright, I wonder if you can order food here. That's my next thing to go explore. Alright guys, talk to you guys soon. Bye.
There's still a lot of construction, a lot of building, so it's not completely done yet, but it's nice to be able to test drive it. I can't wait to come here later and see it all fully completed. I definitely see, you guys can see, there's a lot of pipes down here. They're still, they're still constructing like the roadways and different places. But yeah, welcome to Ibadan. Wow, let's look at the front of this place. So nice. Wow guys, look at that. That looks like that's where the actual train station is. Very nice. It's looking beautiful. I hope you guys have enjoyed the trip. Um, that is the trip from Lagos to Ibadan. Um, hopefully you guys are able to see what the experience is like. If you like this video, like this video. Let me know what you think about the train station. Is it something that you would board? One thing that I was able to notice is it's extremely comfortable. I was able to work, do everything, but it was very slow. So it probably the trip could even have been even faster if the train was faster. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this as part of my series on life in Lagos. So we're gonna go check out Ibadan. So you're gonna be seeing more vlogs about Ibadan in the next few days. All right guys, remember to rise and let your light shine. Peace. <laughs>